everyone, and welcome to the first ever Formula Drift Skills Battle presented by Turn 14 Distribution. I'm your host, Lorette Nickel. We're out here at sunny Southern California's track, Irwindale Speedway, the house of drift, because we have gathered nine top FD drivers out here to compete in three skills competitions. Those competitions are biggest initiation, best wall ride, and for the first time ever, these nine drivers are gonna be put into a drag racing bracket to see who is the fastest man and machine combo in this Formula Drift field. And 1,800 points available across the three competitions. That means the driver that picks up the most amount of points wins the event and the bragging rights as Formula Drift's skills battle champion. Now, let's meet our drivers. The newest of the bunch, but a driver who has already captured the intrigue of the drifting populace. It's Royal Purple driver, Dylan Hughes. This is the man known for his mullet and that beautiful Toyota Supra. It's Rad Dan Burkett. He's the 2011 Formula Drift Champion. It's slide or die Jiro Yoshihara. From Doylestown, Pennsylvania, but now residing in sunny Southern California, he is the three-time Formula Drift champion piloting the NOS Energy Drink 370Z, Chris Forsberg. Our next driver is arguably one of the best chase drivers in the world. With multiple top three championship finishes and a brand new car, it's the Falcon Tire Fuel Suspension S15 of Odie Bakchis. Driver known for big flicks and crazy entries, he goes by three letters called JTP. In the Falcon Tire Ford Mustang, it's Justin Pollock. <music> Representing the IE and coming in hot on GT radials, he is Ryan Literal. Next up is 2013 Formula Drift Champion piloting the Lick Romali FCP Euro BMW M3, it's Michael Essa. He's the newest driver to join Papadakis Racing and drives the 1,000 horsepower Toyota Corolla. It's Ryan Turk. The first skills test up, we have the biggest initiation. We are looking for the biggest, the baddest, the most angled out, yet controlled initiation possible. driver will get two consecutive scored runs from three judges who are also their fellow competitors. The randomly selected drivers will get a score from each run and with a maximum of 100 points per judge, that's a maximum of 300 points per run or 600 points for both runs. The ideal run is to get the earliest and highest degree of angle in the car without spinning out or stopping while navigating around the clipping cone. Drivers will receive points for early initiation, smoothness, and degree of angle. Drivers must finish the run and show commitment through the cone to demonstrate control. Judges cannot award zeros. Die! How much fun is this? So, the biggest initiation, the most angled, but the most controlled. So, what are you finding that's the most challenging about this contest? So this is a super fun contest, right? Yeah. The hardest thing is uh, we've never done this. We, you know, this is like a first time trying and we only have a two wraps of practice. Mm -hmm. So basically I'm trying to find out what the speed and what's the point I should initiate. Okay. And I did two rounds, didn't work out. So it's going to be pretty tough, but it's a really good challenge. Okay. And you know, such a driver as your caliber, we saw you come out here and you actually spun. So yeah. what are you going to do to make sure that that doesn't happen during your run? So that was too much momentum going into the main turn. Okay. So I'm going to reduce the momentum, you know, on the first left turn and then, you know, a little bit more like easy on the right turn. Okay. It should be okay. just had your two runs yeah. so I was watching your first run mm -hmm. on that inner clip you nailed it you uh, knocked it actually over actually nailed it yeah yep. a little too tight so <laughs> your second one though when you came back I mean it just looked dialed it felt really good like a lot of guys seemed like they weren't really using the whole track and just driving up and kicking the clutch when they hit the flat and so my thought was 
get as much speed as possible. So drive around the bank, I did a little handbrake at the end of the bank and just full throttle down the hill. See, the first run I was in fourth gear and the second run I went fifth gear. And so that just gave me that extra speed to get around it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's cool. Okay, cool. so commitment here yeah. is, is oh, the word. That's, that's the whole deal. We have enough runoff where you know, you're not going to hit this wall. That's what we uh, gave that extra buffer for. So mm -hmm. we can really just throw the car and see who nails it. Good. Well, yeah. best of luck today. Thank Thanks, you. Chris. Dai Yoshihara, he is on the track, he's ready. He is the first driver up. So these drivers were randomly selected by me by a bingo machine. And we have our guys, our three judges here, watching Dai's first run and a possibility of all three drivers awarding 100 points for a perfect run. Everything Dai's doing, he's on that big bang. Dude, what happened? You, you and Dai have a falling out? No, <laughs> he, he, under, he understood right there, he understood right there, what do you want? Dai, his first run got a really high score. His second one was lower. What did you see that changed? So, his, yeah, his first run was pretty good. He came to quick rate of angle, had a decent flick. And on the second one, he, uh, he made a mistake. His flick was really lazy to, in a slow rate to angle. And he basically held the handbrake all the way to the uh, inside clipping zone. That's not the uh, judging criteria. You want to see as fast as flick as possible uh, and as backwards as possible and just make it look aggressive. So the first one looked good, the second one was a little lazy. That's okay. it. Ryan, thank you. You're welcome. Mike Lessa is up for his first judged run, so he's on the line. These are his peers that are judging him. So again, they have a possibility for a perfect run, scoring him 100 points. So that's the scale, one, two, 100. And the judges can't score a zero. went out a little bit further than Dai did on Dai's run number one. And so the scores are starting to come in. We have Ryan Turk, Odebakji, and Ryan Literal judging Michael Essa. Um, Jim Lau is tallying up all of the scores. How is the seeing up? So Michael Essa is back on the line for run two. what the guys are going to do. Michael Essa, it was going so well that first run and then the second one you spun out, what happened? Well, the first run, I played it a little bit safe, okay. knowing I could make it. And the second run, I was like, you know, we only had the two practice runs, so it's a little little bit too short. If I had another couple practice runs, I know I could nail it, but right. it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Good. I'm so <laughs> glad. Well, we have two more competitions to go, so good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Lowe, I just do it for making up for that. All right, Judge is coming in hot. Really great angle, can he hold it? No! Is the pressure getting to Dylan Hughes? No way.
did win. Were you nervous? <laughs> a little bit, not, not too bad. I'm really liking the feeling of this whole uh, kind of fun competition, just like hanging out. So uh, that first one, I tried it in a higher gear than on my practice runs uh, and it felt good. I just came up a little bit short and then the second one I initiated later and it set me up a little bit better. So that second one, I was like, all right, all right, I was yeah. okay. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> yeah, well, good job. Um, two competitions left and uh, we'll, we'll check your scores. I think you might be third right now. All right, all right. No worries. Thanks, Dylan. Okay, Di, real quick. You're currently in the lead, so what did you learn that you're applying to all the other drivers? You know, it's pretty tough because uh, I kind of have to set my base, and it doesn't mean everybody else judges the same way. Yeah. So honestly, it's going to be pretty like all over the places. But I try to do like uh, deduct points. So I have uh, my uh, ideal line in my head and try to deduct the point from, you know, from there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so Dan's first run, he has had two practice days so far this year at Irwindale. I know this is a completely different setup. Odie's really strict, man. Odie is like super strict. I think he gave a 45, so I don't know. Is there some sort of beef between Dan and Odie? No. So now Dan's going to be out for his second judged run. run it looks like you were really trying to go for it yeah well we got one in the bag on the first run so i was like let's try up a gear and just throw it and send it see what happens <laughs> kind of knew that it could go wrong but i'm just gonna go for like speed and you know style points on that one perfect i love that yep that was cool <laughs> so a <laughs> little bit shaking still that was fun good i'm so glad great job dan all right you know what's so much fun about this is that it's still a competition and the guys know that the bragging rights are on the line here, but they still want to win and of course they're in front of their peers so they're doing the best possible that they can do. Chris Forsberg is up next. We share a shot together. Dylan's judging his close friend Chris Forsberg right now. I just said it looks like he initiated on the bank too early, so it brought him too far to the inside, and then it kind of messes up your trajectory for the inside. So I would be willing to bet he's gonna be farther up this time, but I'd say that I'd give him about a solid 59 and a quarter. 59 and a quarter. 59 and a quarter. Okay, all right. Very specific. <laughs> give her the loud pedal. <laughs> Lock the opposite way? He was really trying. He, was really, he did not give up. Wait, did did that count? <laughs> the first one felt pretty tame, and so I tried to throw it a little hard on the second one, went over centered, and then was like, well, wow, screw it, let's try and bring it back anyway. Yeah, so, for sure. cranked it back right and got it back the front back around, so whatever. Yeah, <laughs> but I love that smile, and it just shows that you're having so much fun out here. Oh, yeah, that's the whole point, right? Yeah, perfect. Thank All you, right, Chris. See ya. most angled out, 
and controlled initiation and JTP it looks like you had that dialed in. I mean I feel like every single time I try to initiate it doesn't matter in competition or whatever I'm just trying to initiate early and hard all the time yeah. so I feel like a, a skills like battle like this kind of plays to like what I try to just drive like. Okay well done. All right I'll take Ryan Literal is up for his run, number one. Gold Flake looking so good in his car. And we have the three judges. We have Chris Forsberg, Dan Burkett, and Dylan Hughes. So his car. But what are, what's your judging criteria? Um, so for me, it's, I want to see how, how long they can hold the, like, the, the backwards, the over center. And not just like about hitting it and coming out of it, but like how long you can like hold it smoothly coming into that. Okay. Um, it just shows more commitment than just kind of over centering for a second. Um, you gotta watch out for that bump. That bump's what got me on mine. Uh, it like popped me over. So it. it's it's tricky if you get too early. Yoshihara right now, he is currently in the lead. He's the one that went out first, set the standard. So just keeping an eye on those scores, maybe Ryan Literal can upset Dai Yoshihara, who knows? pretty good car feels really consistent this isn't my usual competition car this is just like my special appearance car so feels good to be on track everybody out here with uh, my old pride and joy nice well done Ryan <laughs> in the Corolla. I'm really excited for him. We saw you not complete the second run. Why did that happen? Yeah, I just threw it to lock too early. I uh, didn't have the grip to bring it back. Uh, we're running high tire pressure today just to keep things flowing. Uh, I'm not trying to break the drivetrain and just have fun. So uh, I just got a little too aggressive on that. And um, you know, the first one felt good. So I'll go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Odie Bakchis is our last driver. <laughs> Scores are starting to come in. Odie um, coming in with a lot of angles. So I don't know if watching all of the drivers really helped Odie out here. Well done, Odie. Drivers checking out. What's What's the word? What's coming in? Everyone anxiously waiting. I think Dai is number one, Odie. So, really? Yep. So, Sick. <laughs> yeah, so Dai was right, uh, driver number one. He went out first. 
and he was leading the entire time. Odie goes out last and watches everybody and then takes the lead, Odie. Well done. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so good. That's so much fun. I, I honestly think my first one, I overdid it kind of. So I guess it looked pretty cool from the outside. But sure. so it was just a lot of fun. I'm so glad. So did it help you to watch everybody and then to go through the judging? Like, did that? You know, I kind of had my own thing in my mind what I'm going to do anyway. Right. But it was, it was always fun to watch other people. Yeah. And to see if they're doing what I think I'm going to do. So <laughs> it was cool. Dai was definitely on it. Yeah, for Dai sure. is just really smooth. And uh, I thought he would have it. You know, so can't wait to see my run from the outside of the car. Yeah. Uh, it is so much fun.